we'll look at a few simple problems we can do regarding reaction rates. A reaction rate can be expressed as the change in the amount of any reactant or product over a particular time period. For example, in this reaction, zinc metal reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce hydrogen gas and aqueous zinc chloride. If it is experimentally found that 0 0.02 grams of zinc reacts in one second, the rate can be expressed as 0 0.02 grams of zinc per one second, like this. Rate can be used as a conversion factor in any calculation. This conversion factor can be expressed as 0 0.020 grams of zinc over one second. Or, like all conversion factors, it can be flipped to give us one second over 0 0.020 grams of zinc. We can use whichever conversion factor we need to give us the units we need for the answer in a calculation. Let's do an example question. We're told that magnesium metal reacts with aqueous hydrochloric acid to form hydrogen gas and aqueous magnesium chloride. The hydrogen gas can be collected by displacement of water in an apparatus like this. We're told that 0 0.0028 liters of hydrogen gas is collected in three minutes. We're asked to calculate the rate of this reaction in milliliters of H2 per second. Rate is expressed as the change in an amount over change in time. So we can express rate as 0 0.0028 liters of hydrogen over three minutes. But we're asked for the rate in milliliters of hydrogen per second. So we need to convert liters of hydrogen to milliliters of hydrogen. We can do this by multiplying by a conversion factor with the units milliliters of hydrogen on top and liters of hydrogen on the bottom. The liters of hydrogen will cancel and we'll be left with milliliters of hydrogen on the top. We know that one liter of any gas is the same as a thousand milliliters. So with this conversion factor, we can change liters of hydrogen to milliliters of hydrogen. Looking at the question, we see that they want the rate in milliliters of hydrogen per second. At this point, our time unit is minutes. So we need to change minutes on the bottom to seconds on the bottom. We can accomplish this by multiplying by a conversion factor with minutes on the top and seconds on the bottom. The minutes will cancel and we'll be left with seconds on the bottom. We know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds, so we'll put these numbers in here. Now we see that both liters of hydrogen and minutes can be canceled leaving us with milliliters of hydrogen per second. And this is the unit they wanted the answer to be expressed in. So now we have the correct unit for our answer. We'll calculate the numerical answer by taking 0 0.0028 divided by 3 times 1,000 divided by 60. This gives us 0 0.015 repeating, which we must round to two significant figures or 0 0.016. So the final answer for the rate of this reaction is 0 0.016 milliliters of hydrogen per second. Let's do another problem. We're given the reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric acid to produce hydrogen gas and aqueous magnesium chloride. This time we're told the rate of this reaction is 0 0.016 milliliters of hydrogen per second. We're asked to calculate the volume of hydrogen produced in 7.5 minutes when the reaction proceeds at this rate. We'll start by writing down the quantity with the single unit, 7.5 minutes. But notice the rate is given in milliliters of hydrogen per second. So in order to use this rate, we need to change minutes to seconds. We'll do this by multiplying by the conversion factor 60 seconds per one minute. The minutes will cancel and we'll be left with seconds on the top. Now we can multiply the rate as the conversion factor 
0.016 milliliters of hydrogen per one second. Looking at the units, we see that minutes and seconds both cancel. So we're left with the unit milliliters of hydrogen. We're asked to calculate the volume of H2 gas, and milliliters of hydrogen is a good unit for this answer. So we don't need to do any more conversions in this question. We can get the numerical answer, taking 7.5, multiplying by 60, and multiplying by 0 0.016, which comes out to 7.2. So our final answer for the volume of hydrogen produced in 7.5 minutes is 7.2 milliliters of hydrogen. We'll do one more problem. We're given the same reaction with magnesium and hydrochloric acid, and we're given that the rate of this reaction is 0 0.016 milliliters of hydrogen per second. We're asked how many hours it would take to produce 3.4 liters of hydrogen gas at this rate. We can start by writing down the given quantity with the single unit. 3.4 liters of hydrogen. The 3.4 is in liters, but the volume unit in the rate is in milliliters. So we need to change liters of hydrogen to milliliters of hydrogen. We can do this by multiplying by a conversion factor with milliliters of hydrogen on top and liters of hydrogen on the bottom. In this way, the unit liters of hydrogen will cancel and we'll be left with milliliters of hydrogen the unit used in the rate. One liter is equivalent to 1,000 milliliters, so we can put these numbers in this conversion factor. Notice that hours is a unit of time, and that's what we're asked for. But in our given rate, the unit of time seconds is the bottom unit. So this time we'll express the rate as the conversion factor 1 second over 0 0.016 milliliters of hydrogen. In this way, the time unit seconds is on the top. And the unit milliliters of hydrogen can be cancelled out. If we stopped here, we would get the time in seconds, but in the question we're asked for time in hours. We can change seconds to minutes by multiplying by the conversion factor 1 minute over 60 seconds. The unit seconds will cancel and will be left with minutes. Finally, to convert minutes to hours, we can multiply by the conversion factor 1 hour over 60 minutes. In this way, the minutes will cancel and will be left with hours on top, which is the unit we want in our answer. So we can cancel out liters of hydrogen, milliliters of hydrogen, seconds, and minutes, leaving us with the unit hours, which is the unit we want in our answer. To get the numerical answer, we'll start with 3.4, multiply by 1000, divide by 0 0.016, divide by 60, and divide by 60 again. Rounding to two significant figures, this comes out to 59. So now we can state our final answer. It would take 59 hours to produce 3.4 liters of hydrogen gas at this rate of reaction.